Gravel tires have come a long way in the last few years. We went from having a handful of options to a veritable cornucopia of gravel tires. It seems like every tire brand has their version of a gravel tire and they can be wildly different from one another. And in my experience, not every gravel tire is ideal for every surface. There's definitely a range. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys my list of favorite gravel tires, depending on the condition and type of gravel that you're riding. So let's get into it. I do wanna stress that there are a ton of tires out there and I have not tried every single gravel tire that exists. So within the limited spectrum that I've got a chance to play with, these are my personal favorites. I think the first condition that you would run into is what I would consider smooth. So something where the percentage of road to gravel breaks down to 80% road and 20% gravel. And maybe that gravel is really hard packed dirt, AKA hero gravel. On surfaces like this, there is the tried and true WTB Horizon Byway. WTB really blew open the dam, so to speak, uh, in terms of 650B tires like this. Up until the Horizons and the Byways, you really had to splash out on some Rene Erste tires. They really made it more possible for people to experience 650B tires. But because of that, they've got a soft spot in my heart. They are not the grippiest tires when things get really wet or muddy or loose. But again, if you're riding that kind of smoother surface, 80% road, 20% hard pack, can't go wrong with the byways. Another good alternative in the same vein is the Terravail Washburns. Again, these come in 650B by 48. Very similar philosophy to the byways where they have a kind of high center ridge, which is meant to roll fast on smooth surfaces. It does kind of have decorative knobs, which I'm not convinced do a whole lot, but they're there, they're there. They come both in supple and durable, or as I like to say, durable uh, sidewalls. There is a little bit of a weight difference between the two, but in terms of ride feel, I think maybe there is a difference, but you really had to concentrate to, to pick it out. I think if you're paranoid about flats and especially slashing the sidewall, just go with the Durable and call it one and done. Moving on. So let's say you are riding 50% pavement, 50% dirt. Maybe the dirt is getting a little bit chunkier, not quite baby heads, but you've got, you know, pea-sized gravel, three quarter inch aggregate. For this, you want a really good all-rounder tire. And despite all the tires I've tried, my favorite in this category is still the Soma Casadero, specifically in 650B by 50. This tire again has a high center ridge for fast rolling on flatter, smoother surfaces. But in this instance, it has slightly more aggressive and actually useful knobs on the shoulders. If you're going up a steep and loose climb, these tires will hold on just that little bit more uh, than compared to say the Byways or the Washburn tires. They also have a slightly wider width, so this gives you a little bit more latitude to play with tire pressure and get that kind of pneumatic suspension going on. These are the tires we trained for and used during uh, our Dirty Kanza attempt and perfectly happy with them, didn't have any flats whatsoever. In general, these are still my favorite all round tire. Uh, and if I could, I'd put them on every single bike I have. Okay, so let's talk about tires for what I'm gonna call rough gravel. So this is when your rides are 80% dirt and 20% pave. And the nature of that dirt is a little bit more aggressive. It's a little bit looser, uh, a little bit rockier. Traction is more of an issue. So you want a tire that is supple, but also is aggressive so you can maintain that traction. In these conditions, I actually like this tire quite a bit. This is the WTB Sendero. This tire has some nice, fairly aggressive nubbins that are widely spaced, so it'll shed some mud. And this tire does an admirable job at gripping on loose terrain. I think this tire has been generally uh, forgotten because it is more on the aggressive side than let's say a gravel racer would use. It makes a great tire for less than ideal conditions uh, when you need more grip, but it is a bit buzzy and draggy on those smoother surfaces. Another great tire in this category is the Schwabel G1 Bite uh, TLE. As you can see, it's got a very kind of similar-ish tread to the Sendero, slightly less aggressive, but still maintains good traction. One nice thing about these tires is you can get them in a larger variety of widths, I think the Sendero's tap out at like 47 uh, millimeters across. 
These, you can get them, these are like 2.1s and they make even bigger ones, like 2.3s, I think. Like the Senderos, perfect for those rides where you're kind of negotiating traction. And also like the Senderos, probably not the best for fast rolling gravel because they are so aggressive and they feel kind of draggy with those knobs. The last sort of terrain I want to discuss is what I like to call chonk. And so this is when you're riding, you know, let's say 100% dirt and gravel, uh, you're hitting lots of rocky or rooty surfaces. Not quite boulders, not quite, you know, full on like all mountain bike category, but approaching that. For these conditions, these are the two tires I really, really enjoy. The first one are these kind of chunky guys. These are the Rene Earth's uh, Hump Tulips. They are 26 inch by 2.3 and these tires offer a ton of suspension. It's almost like riding in a bounce house. That's how I like to mentally frame it. I love these tires in rocky and rooty terrain. And one cool thing is at 26 inch, um, the outside diameter is fairly similar to a 700 by 28. So you can fit this at least diameter wise on most gravel bikes. These will fit in my Crest Bora, and I've run these on the Thai Bear Claw behind me and they're, they're a blast. When we're going someplace where I know it's gonna be sandy, a little bit loose and rocky, these are the wheels and tires that I bring. The last tire I want to talk about is also a blast if your bike can fit it. It's probably better suited to uh, alt bar ATBs more so than these kind of road inspired gravel bikes. But if your bike can take the fat meats and you are riding the chonky terrain, totally recommend the Terravale A-Line. These tires are definitely not my favorite on road. They're kind of wide and they're buzzy and they feel kind of draggy, but they come to life when you're descending really rocky terrain. Like the Hump Tulips, they're fairly wide. The ones I have on my hardtack uh, are 2.3 inches, so a lot of latitude to play with suspension and float. So if your gravel uh, looks more like cross-country mountain biking or old-school chunky fire road exploring, then the Terravale A-Lines are a great choice. One more thing, I know a lot of these tires uh, are a little bit on the spending side, probably more than some people are used to spending on a single tire. So I'm going to give the bonus recommendation to the American Classic uh, set of tires. I think most of them are under $40. They come in a lot of tread patterns that are similar to the tires I discussed. They cost less, they're going to weigh a little bit more, they're not going to be as supple. And, but if you want to experiment with different treads or want to try out this whole gravel thing, then I think it's a lower kind of barrier to entry than, than a lot of these more expensive tires. But regardless, a good tire is definitely worth it. Uh, what's also worth it is supporting the channel by joining us on Patreon or visiting the merch store and buying some stickers and patches for the holidays. We recently crossed the 150,000 subscriber mark and to get there, I made over a thousand videos, I think 1200 videos. Um, and of those, probably only 15 were sponsored we get hardly any financial support uh, from the bike industry and we keep this channel going, these videos coming on quirky topics by direct viewer support from folks like you that support us on Patreon and buy some merch. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, keep the supple side down.